Lions TV, chat and shit, again live from Moscow. Um, Coventry City nil Millwall won. I don't think anyone would have put their last penny on that happening, um, or with any confidence anyway, but it's, it just seems to be the way the league is. I think um, you look at someone like Derby have been absolutely under the mill and they've, um, they've beat Bournemouth, Fulham and drawn with the other top two, the top four. It's a crazy league. Um, We've been outrun and absolutely swarmed by Coventry um, the last few games we played them. Um, and it, the writing was on the wall, 14 senior players, three kids on the bench, one that needed school permission to, to even travel. Um, wow. Uh, first of all, I thought the first half was, uh, again, just like Millwall, absolutely um, dire. Um, <laughs> we, we moaned about it. Having Pierce in, but he, he did show some leadership qualities tonight. I think he was the only one with a little bit of composure, um, settled in the first half. I think everyone else, to a man, gave the ball away cheaply. Um, taking that extra touch, allowing that, that press to come onto you so you feel like you're swarmed. You know, it was unnecessary. They were hunting in packs because of that, because we were too slow on it. Then we were giving the ball away with no pressure. Our midfield was overrun and didn't look into it. And I'm thinking... We miss a box-to-box -box player like a Malumbi. Um, because Saville looks a bit lost in the two with, with Mitchell, unfortunately. I don't think he, he doesn't know whether to stick or twist. Uh, Mitchell, I'm still not sure. I think he'll come under the Ben Thompson category. He might need to, to play in a three. Um, especially in games like the first half, uh, when we're under a little bit of pressure. I don't know whether he, he can play in the, in the two at the moment. Um, maybe he'll develop. Look, again, he's, he's a young kid still. Um, but I still think there's a lot of, um, a lot of things in my mind, which I'm, I'm looking at. And I think, you know, have we got, have we got the players to play two in the midfield? I don't think we've really got one player that can just dominate that midfield like a general and say to the other guy, just do what you got to do. Like Williams did with Savile. You know, that work, that's why it works so well. Um, but I digress, as they say, um, as bad as it was first half. I say Matt Namara, Mitchell, Saville, Cooper, even Hutchison, um, Murray Wallace were all giving the ball away just under no pressure at all. Second half, so much better. I, don't, I can't remember a shot in the first half. Second half, we ended up with nine shots overall, I think. Um, a little bit more pressure, a lot more territory in their area. Um, it didn't really look like they were going to get in behind us until the last five minutes where they threw everything at us. We looked a lot more solid. Uh, Danny McNamara started to play really, really well. Um, I thought he was superb. Hutchison looked more composed. Um, Murray Wallace looked more composed and put, put himself about. Um, I just think it's frustrating that that formation. Bradshaw looked like he had nothing going for him. You get a man up there with him, he scores. As I said, he can't play up front on his own, especially where Ojo wants to go so wide. Bennett, uh, Bennett, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work with him unless you play with a 4-4-2 or 4-5-1 with him out wide or actually in the 10, because I think in this sort of formation, it doesn't like, he doesn't quite know whether to go out wide or come inside. I'm not sure if he's, he's never going to break, break on the shoulder. So he, he looks lost. I just think the imbalance of the first half, um, it's it, just the formation of the players. I just don't think they're the right players for the right formation. I don't, well, whether it's the right formation or not, I don't know, but a phobie comes on, it changed the game a bit. You know, we had a little, we had more physical presence up, up top. We can get the foot on the ball. We had a lot more possession, a lot more territory, as I said, and it just looked so much better. I think a phobie and Bradshaw are starting to look like a good partnership. Why break it up? You know, unless there's a niggle for a phobie, because we've had effectively, um, that festive period where you're playing every two or three days to, to get over it. And you know what? I think for a team that's, uh, there's always sort of energy and, and, uh, speed and quickness of the touch. And they like to break the lines with the part passing. We dealt with that really well tonight. And, um, for a team that you said hardly practiced, hardly trained, um, missing some players, missing some uh, pieces, just like, you know, Jed Wallace, I think, um, he is a, he is a top player for us as much as, uh, as much as just say, is he really that good? He overrated, but I think he is really a good, um, good player for us. I mean, you know, when you've got a phobia on the bench, Malone on the bench, I think it would have been an easier option to put Murray Wallace left centre half and Malone left, left, uh, wing back. 
backs against the wall, what happens? I think um, we had some leaders out there tonight that steadied the ship and I think we did really well um, from that. Again, not a fantastic performance. Don't get away from that. It's not as if we were phenomenal. Um, but we dug in and we did what we had to do. Um, and we roll on to to the 2nd of January and hopefully do the same against Bristol up there. So um, I'm buzzing. I, I really like that. It's, it's taken a long while for us to absolutely nick a game um, like that, you know, we've done it. We usually get rolled by these teams. Um, so, what do you do? A few days time, stick with the same same side, or do we get uh, players back and get roll again? But wins a win. Enjoy the night. Roll on to New Year. Um, top marks. Uh, shout out to Lovelace. Well done, son. 